I'm sure that as an artist, Carl works instinctively and compulsively in the same way that he does in all of his mediums. But really, as a photographer, there's such a naturalism. Like, once he sees something, you could be done in five minutes and you don't even realize that you've just finished the entire thing because he just knows sort of exactly what he wants. What's so incredible about shooting with Carl is that he really knows how to bring out the best in someone, which then brings out the best in the clothes, and it's a really like good relationship in that sense. And the photos always end up looking really amazing. Gabriel Chanel à la Rêve au cinéma, parce que c'est quand même une des premières qui a habillé les femmes avec des vêtements d'hommes. À l'époque où tout le monde portait des corsets, pouvait pas respirer. Elle allait chercher la la liberté. Incredibly contemporary, and it's amazing that the ring the ring was designed in 1932, and I've, I've not seen anything like it recently. It feels very modern. It feels very, I mean, it's just a very beautiful thing. I suppose it's timeless and modern at the same time. Um, but I think the whole collection, you know, it's it's all it's a it's a really stunning collection, and the fact that it was designed so many years ago and yet it's still so current, I think, is always the magic of Chanel. When you have a couture element in a house, I think it lifts everything because there's such precision. So there's a, a quality to the cut of the clothes, whether it's ready to wear or obviously the couture, that runs through. And I think that's quite unique. It is the one fashion house that I think is really a, a, a perfect blend of modernity and classicism, which is what Coco Chanel was all about. But who is a, who is a woman? How do you represent yourself? How are you modern? Um, how are you innately female? And yet, of course, it never dates. It's always classic.